We have theories that say that our universe came from a hot Big Bang, about 14 billion years ago before everything in the universe came into existence. Scientists hope that, before the beginning of everything there was nothing, and that our theories will start to fall apart if we try to understand the early stages of our universe. This is because, the time before inflation is beyond our understanding, and our current theories do not provide a proper explanation for this state of our universe. But some scientists hypothesize that before the Big Bang, there was nothing, no matter, no light, no force, and no space and time, and this condition is called nothingness. As the universe suddenly came into existence, it started expanding, and it continues to expand till now. However, the expansion of our universe is not constant, it is accelerating, things in the universe are moving away from each other faster and faster, and scientists have predicted that, there will come a time when all matter in the universe will disappear, and this will be the end of our universe. But a new study suggests that something far more terrifying is happening in the universe, and objects are starting to disappear into the nothingness of space. Previously, Stephen Hawking predicted about this event, and he said that it would be one of the reasons for how our universe would end. Astrophysicists Michael Vondrak, Walter van Sudgelekum, and Heino Falk of Radboud University in the Netherlands have said that every massive object in the universe is slowly disappearing into the void of space, and this will be the ultimate fate of our universe. So, what's really happening in the universe? Stay tuned till the end as we delve deeper into this amazing discovery and reveal what is really causing the universe to disappear. Hawking's radiation and the concept of how black holes die are fascinating topics that delve into the realm of theoretical physics. In the 1970s, the renowned physicist Stephen Hawking proposed a groundbreaking idea that challenged our understanding of black holes. His theory, known as Hawking's radiation, suggests that black holes are not entirely black, but instead emit a faint radiation that gradually causes them to lose mass and eventually evaporate over an extremely long time scale. To comprehend Hawking's radiation, we need to delve into the peculiar nature of black holes. Black holes are regions in space where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their grasp. According to classical physics, nothing can escape from a black hole once it has crossed the point of no return, known as the event horizon. Hawking's revolutionary insight arose from combining two well-established theories, quantum mechanics and general relativity. Quantum mechanics describes the behavior of subatomic particles on the smallest scales, while general relativity explains gravity and the curvature of space-time. However, these theories seem incompatible at first glance. Quantum mechanics implies that empty space is teeming with virtual particle-antiparticle pairs continuously popping in and out of existence. Normally, these particles annihilate each other almost instantly. However, Hawking realized that near the event horizon of a black hole, one particle from the pair could fall into the black hole, while the other escapes, becoming real. The energy needed to create these particles is borrowed from the black hole's gravitational field, causing it to lose a tiny amount of mass. This process, known as Hawking radiation, is akin to a black hole's evaporation. As the black hole radiates energy through the escape of particle-antiparticle pairs, its mass gradually diminishes. This phenomenon occurs over an immense timescale, with smaller black holes radiating more intensely than larger ones. For example, a black hole with the mass of our sun would take around 1067 years to evaporate completely, a time vastly exceeding the current age of the universe. As a black hole loses mass through Hawking radiation, its temperature increases. This may seem counterintuitive since black holes are typically associated with extreme coldness. However, in this context, temperature refers to the energy of the radiation emitted by the black hole. The higher the temperature, the more intense the radiation. A new study has been released which stated that this unusual form of radiation is apparent in other objects as well as black holes. In fact, this study said that Hawking radiation could be found in objects apparent everywhere in the universe, and it could mean that the universe is slowly evaporating before our very eyes. 
We show that far beyond a black hole the curvature of space-time plays a big role in creating radiation. The particles are already separated there by the tidal forces of the gravitational field. Essentially, huge objects in the solar system can cause space-time to bend around them. When that happens, it causes enough change in quantum fields to generate particles which have similar properties to Hawking radiation. That means that objects without an event horizon, such as the remnants of dead stars and other large objects in the universe, also have this sort of radiation. And after a very long period, that would lead to everything in the universe eventually evaporating, just like black holes. This changes not only our understanding of Hawking radiation, but also our view of the universe and its future. This study shocked astronomers across the world, as they were earlier thinking that only black holes lose their mass in the form of radiation and gradually disappear into the nothingness of space. But this new study has opened our eyes. Because we came to know that not only black holes, but all massive objects in the universe are slowly disappearing before our eyes, all massive objects are losing their mass in the form of Hawking radiation. Just as the universe had its beginning after a Big Bang, it will certainly disappear one day, but we do not know how the universe will end, and this shocking discovery may be one of the reasons for the end of the universe. Many theoretical physicists believe the universe will end, and it could happen at any point between 2.8 billion years and 22 billion years from now. Certain researchers even suggest the process of its demise has already begun. So what fate is awaiting our universe? The rate of expansion of our universe may eventually tear itself apart, forcing it to end in a big rip. Alternatively, the universe could shrink, decrease or decay, effectively reversing the Big Bang and destroying the universe in a big crunch. A third theory is described as the Big Freeze. Big Freeze is a hypothetical scenario where the universe continues to expand forever and eventually all matter reaches a final uniform state. Finally, according to this new discovery, massive objects in the universe will gradually lose their mass in the form of Hawking radiation. Eventually there will be enough gas and dust and dense enough clumps to form new stars, and the universe will blink out. The remaining dark universe will be populated by black holes and little else. With nothing left to feed them, the black holes will slowly release radiation as they evaporate into nothingness. As we ponder the fate of our universe, we are reminded of the grandeur and mystery that surrounds us. Our journey through the cosmos has unveiled breathtaking wonders and sparked profound questions about our existence. From the birth of stars to the vastness of galaxies, we find ourselves in awe of the intricate tapestry of the universe.